Stay. 
Come on, give the Lord some praise up in this house. Give the Lord a praise in this house, everybody. You want to be a weakness? You really want to be a weakness? You really want to be a weakness? You have to prepare to suffer just like our Lord Jesus Christ suffered. Praise God. God has been good to us tonight. We're in the presence of the Lord and God is about to do something great in this house. Praise God. We have in our means our own elder overseer, Devon Walker from London, Birmingham, England. We just want to ask him just to come quickly and just come and greet you shortly because we need the word. We are in the preacher's time. Come on, give the Lord a praise while he come and greet you shortly in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Just give the Lord a wave offering in the house. Come on, people of God. Open them out and give God a wave offering. Come on, warriors. Come on, choristers, open them out and give the Lord some praise in the house. We are the true worshippers. We need some real worshippers tonight. I said we need some real worshippers tonight. It's time to hunger your business. Say, neighbor, my good, good neighbor. It's time to worship God. A short mouth is a short destiny. Somebody give the Lord praise. Somebody just give the Lord a real praise in here. We give God thanks for his mercy and his grace. I just want to take the privilege to greet the Holy Spirit, who is the head of my life, my life source, my God in whom I trust. Take me out of nature's darkness and place me in his marvelous light. I want to greet also our general overseer, amen, Apostle George Winston Baker. A hallelujah. Give the Lord some praise for him. It was a wonderful and a successful and a happy book launch. You know, while I was in UK, I have, I, somebody bought me the book on Amazon. And three days before I came to Jamaica, I said, you know what? I have to read off this book, you know, before I come to Jamaica because I don't want nobody to tell me nothing. Not with me. I don't like surprises. I like to know exactly. And trust me. I will tell anyone who bought this book. If you buy the book and not going to read the book, give somebody who wants to read it. Amen? So, we want to make sure you read the information over and over because some great information is in it. Somebody give the Lord praise. I want to greet also Overseer Elder Terence Mullins. You know, Hallelujah. He was there in the UK with us for two weeks. And we have a Holy Ghost blast. I'm reaping the office, God promised me. Celebrating eight year church anniversary. Me and Overseer Mullins is in the same house. He stayed at my place. And I put him on the plane today and coming tomorrow. And he don't know. Somebody give a Lord praise. I feel the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And so we give God thanks for this ministry because God is doing a quick work. So as I say, we were celebrating eight years. I mean eight years. Church anniversary over there. Birmingham, Manchester, London, Wolverhampton. Hallelujah. And, and what I call Birmingham, Manchester, London, and Wolverhampton. Yes, eight years. Amen. I've been on the battlefield past pastoring over there in the UK and we give God thanks. Keep on praying for the man of God. Keep on praying for me. Somebody give the Lord praise the man. Hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah. You know and I thank God that I could be here tonight to get a word in my spirit. Touch your neighbor and say neighbor there's a word coming tonight. You know. Prepare yourself for the word. Amen. God has been good. Amen. I went last night to visit Petersville. For the first time um, since it reconverted with past the clock, it was a blast up there. Somebody give the Lord praise, man. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, King Jesus is spreading like wildfire. And the Lord has given me the, the opportunity, amen, to be an overseer. So I went, amen, to Maryland. I went to Orlando. Glory be to God. And I realized uh, on my phone I get an invitation three days ago, amen, to come to Cayman. 
Don't look at me like that. Somebody give me Lord praise, man. Warriors, open your mouth and give God praise. The church is on the move. Hallelujah. No devil can stop me from going nowhere because I got a British past the port. Somebody open your mouth and give God praise, man. Stand on your feet and give the Lord praise. Stand on your feet and shout a glory. Stand on your feet and shout a glory. A hallelujah. Glory be to God. When I look back over my life, and I think things over, I can truly say that we've been blessed. We got testimony. We are coming from Chapalin. We are coming. Somebody give me Lord praise, man. From Cantina. We are coming from Tokyo in the parking lot. Somebody want me more and give God praise. We are coming from one branch. Hallelujah. Till branch spread like wildfire. Somebody shout, King Jesus. Pentecostal Fellowship 2020 more. Hallelujah. Praise God. We have our own missionary baker from the USA. She has been a tower of strength behind the scene. Praise God. We're just going to ask her just to come and say something. Come on, give the praise going, saints. Hallelujah. Come on, everybody, stand in front of you. All the ministers, all the ministers, stand and give a shout of praise. One, two, three. Congregation on our feet. One, two, three. Choir says, one, two, three. Everybody, open them out. One, two, three. Receive the word from our general overseer and presided Bishop Winston Royal Baker. Somebody keep those me. hands clapping. Hallelujah. Come on, clap those hands and magnify God. Clap those hands and glorify the King of Kings. He's the Lord of Lords. Wave your hands and shout a glory. Hallelujah. Shout a glory. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. From the guttermost to the uttermost. Somebody shout a glory. From the guttermost to the uttermost. God is a good God. The testimonies has been coming in testimonies all over the world person read the book and receive mighty testimony god is a good god here is the worshipers in here somebody give god a high praise he's worthy come on clap your hands and magnify the lord jesus christ for he's good and his mercies endure it forever when God get ready to move. There is no devil in hell to stop God from moving. Somebody tell the Lord thank you. When God get ready to give a shift in your life, there is no devil in hell to stop your shift. When God get ready to release a season in your life, there is no devil in hell to stop your season. Somebody throw your head back and say, Nissan. Come on, somebody, Nissan. Beginnings, new thing. God is doing a new thing. Clap your hands and praise him tonight. Clap your hands and lift him up tonight. Clap your hands and shout a hallelujah. A glory hallelujah. A glory thank you, Jesus. From the guttermost even to the uttermost because God is a good God come on somebody I say from the guttermost even to the uttermost from alpha to omega come on somebody from the beginning he's able to take you to the end somebody give him a praise in here he's able to keep that which is committed unto him He's God all by himself. Please turn your Bibles to Revelation chapter 13. And let's look at verse 8. Thursday night we were in Kingston. God is a good God. Four persons were baptized in Kingston Thursday night. 
Where are the warriors? Are you in church? Give God a good praise today. Hallelujah. God is a good God. He is worthy to be praised. We are at Revelation 13 and verse 8. Are you there? Speaking of the last and closing days, John, the book of Revelation, the apocalypse, revealing the unveiling, hallelujah, of Jesus Christ. You're at verse 8. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose name are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. Eternal God, our King, our Master. Speak to your church one more time. Somebody's here for a word. Have your way, Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. Somebody clap your hands and give God a good praise. He's worthy to be praised. You may be seated in the presence of God. Hallelujah. God is a good God. Revelation chapter 13. It is that famous chapter in the Bible. One of the most favored. One of the most famous chapter in the entire holy scriptures because in is it's in revelation chapter 13 we heard of the mark of the beast yes it is in revelation chapter 13 john reveals something that blows all scientists minds it shows that john is not just making guesses but John tap into the supernatural and declare what shall come to pass because John speak of the mark and John say no one that will be on the earth will not be able to buy transact business without having that mark and now we are living in the 21st century and we see how close. Now, a hundred years ago, it seems impossible. When John said no one will be able to buy or to sell. Except they take the mark. But just a few years ago, two years ago, we see the COVID-19 came in. And the COVID-19 uh, pushed the earth in a place that they call it a pandemic, a global pandemic. And then uh, the restrictions that comes with COVID-19 shows us that it is so possible for a system to be in place uh, it will bring a no movement and hallelujah and it brings in a, uh, a situation that you are not be able to buy or sell we see oh you will not be you will not be able to buy or sell except you have the vaccine can't travel without it shows how easy it is for a system to put in place in this age. Could not do that a hundred years ago, but in this age. It shows us because the Bible let us know that the beast will talk and the whole world will hear at once. That could not take place a hundred years ago, but... Oh, Jesus, but now when the bees talk, hallelujah, every cell phone, it's all over the internet. A hundred years ago, that was impossible. But now we see that John was connected to the eternal God. 
that John he carries an eyes to see the end from 2,000 years ago. Glory to God. Uh -huh. But John says now there will be a set of people that will not be able to function because it is a system that will be in place that uh, will have control over everything. John said only those whose name is written in the Lamb's book of life will escape. Oh, I want you to know as people of God that if your name is written in the Lamb's book of life, make sure it stays written. Oh, because we know that your name can be erased from the book of life. Because when Israel was in the wilderness and, and God decided he's going to wipe Israel from off the map. Moses began to intercede on behalf of Israel. And Moses said to God, if you're going to kill them, wipe my name out of your book. And God said, I will not do that. That's against my nature. Only your sins, only your transgressions, only your wrongdoings can wipe your name out shows me then that in order for your name to be written you got to be born of the water and of the spirit for your name to be written and for your name to remain written you got to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling Oh, touch somebody, tell them you got to work out your own. I can't do it for you. Oh, Jesus, kind of a little bit flat. Touch your neighbor, say, neighbor, you got to work out your own. Your wife can't do it for you. You got to work out your own. Your husband just can't do it. You got to work out your own. Your daddy, your mommy can't work it for you you got to work it out yourself your bishop can't work your salvation for you moses couldn't work it for israel and god said moses i can't wipe out yours you got to go on the other side for me to wipe out yours i'm god and i will never do that that's against my nature i will not wipe out your name if you are in tune with me John saw it now he's in the spirit and John said whosoever name is not found written in the Lamb's book of life will be controlled by the beast they will have to take the mark of the beast who am I preaching to oh touch your neighbor for the first time and say neighbor you got to work it out nobody can work it for you you got to work it out Oh Jesus. And so now we see John. Then he moved to the next dimension. Because after he speaks of those who name is written in the Lamb's book. He said those who name is not written. They are under the dominion of the beast. Then he said the names that are written. It is written in the book of the Lamb which was slain from the foundation of the world. Oh Jesus, so we got to ask, when was Jesus slain? Because we know that Jesus is that Lamb. Oh, how we know Jesus is that Lamb. John chapter 1. Oh, John the Baptist was at River Jordan. And Jesus was coming. He was in the water baptizing people. And Jesus was coming. And John declared, Behold the Lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the world. So we know Jesus is the Lamb 
of God. Uh -huh. And John said he was slain from the foundation of the earth. My first glance of lamb being slain was in Genesis chapter 3 when Adam and Eve sinned that God slew to lamb. You're coming with me. And he cover them with the skin of the lamb oh Jesus and that, that lamb was not Jesus Christ but that lamb is a shadow of Jesus Christ you're coming now watch me now because that was a shadow it blows my mind because God did not slay one lamb he slayed two lamb one for Adam and one for Eve I ask God personally why you didn't use one lamb and cover the both of them he said no son everybody need a lamb for themselves oh the lamb can't say for both of us baby oh Jesus the first holiday the first Jewish holiday is when the lamb came in riding lonely and the horse he was coming to the temple everybody was walking with their own lamb and God said I'm not using your lamb I'm carrying mine to the house too and the first holiday is receive the lamb accept the lamb mm, sees the lamb I stop by to ask you tonight mm, where is the lamb the lamb is in my house I wonder if anybody have the lamb in your house the first command God give to Israel is receive the lamb take the lamb into your house who am I talking to every house need their own lamb oh Touch your neighbor, say neighbor, the lamb was slain. Oh, Shia, from before the foundation of the world, God makes sure, say, everybody have the alarm. You got to know him for yourself. Nobody can know God for you, baby. I said, nobody can receive him for you. Nobody can accept him for you. Nobody can seize him for you. You got to have a point of time in your your life when you receive the lamb when you accept the lamb when you take hold of the lamb who am I preaching to is there somebody in this house can look back over your life and think things over open your mouth and say I remember when I met the lamb I remember the day I accept the lamb I remember the day I take hold of the lamb I remember the day when I behold the lamb I seize the lamb I bring the lamb in my house and nobody can take him out he's in my house tonight anybody have the lamb anybody take hold of the lamb anybody have the lamb anybody can say my name is written in the lamb's book who am I preaching to anybody can say the lamb belongs to me Oh, Shia, I feel something shifting over my head. Somebody wave your hand and say, I have him. I receive him. He's mine. And I will never let him go. At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light and the burdens of my heart rolls away. It was here by faith I receive my sight and now I'm happy all the way to Calvary he went for me although I had so many many sins Jesus washed them all the way oh, pardon me it's 10 p.m. 
people in here have your own testimony. It's ten people in here have your own crucifixion. You crucified for me. Who am I talking to? Can I find ten people that truly love God? Who belongs to Jesus? Who accept the Lamb? Receive the Lamb? Seize the lamb, take hold of the lamb. The lamb is mine. The lamb of God took away all my sins. Come on, warriors. Come on, worshipers. He came from heaven to earth to show me the way from the earth to the cross. My debts to pay from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. I lift his name and high tonight. I wish somebody, I wish somebody, I wish somebody, I wish somebody, I wish somebody open your mouth and let your neighbor know his blood it reaches to the highest mountain it flows to the lowest valleys somebody open your mouth come on his blood that gives me strength from day to day it will never Lose its power. Somebody give him one more. 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 Open your mouth and declare. Open your mouth and let hell know he was wounded for my transgressions. He was bruised for my iniquities. The chastisement. Where are the worshippers of my peace? Was upon him and with his stripes. I am here when I look on Jesus. I I see healing when I look by faith. I see deliverance when I look by faith. I see liberty. He became a sin to make me righteous. He took the pain to give me power. He took death to give me life. He took hell to give me heaven. He took my sins and washed them all away. Somebody open your mouth. Show the glory. Show the hallelujah. Show the glory. Hallelujah. Show the glory. Hallelujah. Show the hallelujah. Somebody, I lift his name on high. Somebody shout one more praise in him. Dwell all the fullness of the Godhead bodily and we are complete in him which is the head of all principalities he is the head of all powers is there anybody in here can shout it loud and clear come on shout it shout it shout it neither is there salvation in any other for there is none other name given under heaven among men whereby we must be saved who am I talking to throw your head back open your mouth Jehovah Jireh Jehovah Nisi Jehovah Shalom is wrapped up tied up tangled up in Jesus Christ somebody say Jesus Christ he's my Lord one Lord one faith one baptism one God and Father which is above all through all and in us all you believe in one God Shia Yamamasa 
Shanda Bashaya. Somebody open your mouth. Shout a praise. Open your mouth. Shout a glory. Open your mouth. Shout a thank you, Jesus. Pull on your neighbor. Pull on your neighbor. And said the lamb was slain from before the foundation of the world in the beginning. I say in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God all things were made by him and without him there is nothing made that was made in him is life and the life was the light of men he came in the world and the world was made by him and the world knew him not but as many that believe on him to them gave he the power to become sons of God now are we I said, no, are we the sons of God? It do it not yet appear what we shall be. But we know, we know, we know when he shall appear, we shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is. And if any man have this hope in him, let him purify, let him purify, let him pray, let him fast, let him study, let him consecrate himself and be pure, even as he is pure. Somebody throw your head back, the lamb, the lamb, the lamb, the lamb of God was slain from before the foundation of the world. I said the lamb, the lamb, they lift him high, they stretch him wide, they put nails Shaya, Shanda, Yapapa Shaya. They put nails in his hands. They put nails in his feet. They stretch him wide. Who am I talking to? They put him in a tomb. I said they put him in a tomb. Three days later. Three days later. He rose from the grave. He rose triumphant. Shanda Basaya, Yama Masa, Yapa Basaya, Shanda Basaya, Yama Masa, Yapa Basaya, Shanda Basaya, Yapa Basaya, Shanda, who said all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Somebody open your mouth, throw your head back, shout the lamb. Behold the lamb of God that taketh away my sins, your sins, her sins and his sins somebody said behold just one look just one look look again look again look again look again behold the lamb behold the lamb behold the lamb behold shaya shanda yam messiah Shaya Basaya, if you behold the Lamb tonight, the beast, the false prophets, the Antichrist have no power over you. Behold the Lamb of God. 
that take it away the sins of the world I come here to speak to somebody take another look look again behold the lamb receive the lamb seize the lamb accept the lamb Shia Shandabasa Yama Masaya Yapa Papa Pasa Shia Yamasa for whom he did for a new them he did predestinate and whom he did predestinate them he called somebody say he called me the lamb called me he called me by name the lamb called me is there anybody in here shaya bahaya yama masaya yapa papa pasa shanda basa somebody open your mouth throw your head back Whosoever name is not found written in the Lamb's book of life have to take the mark. Oh, Shia. The disciples came rejoicing. Saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us. Jesus said, don't you rejoice that the devils are subject to you. But rather rejoice that your name is written in heaven. You better reach your name as a neighbor. The question tonight is your name written in the Lamb's book of life? What did they say? I said, ask your neighbor, neighbor, is your name written in the Lamb's book of life? What did they say? Because the Bible says, if your name is not written in the Lamb's book of life, then you have no power over the second death. For whosoever name is written in the Lamb's book of life have power over the second death. Shia Shanda according as he had chosen us in him before the foundation of the world that we should be holy without blame before him in love having predestinate us and to the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself according to good his good pleasure the good pleasure of his will come on somebody to the praise of the glory of his grace wherein he hath made us to accept in the beloved hands I in whom we have redemption through his blood the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace I stop by to tell somebody today you're clapping you're singing you're dancing is in vain if your name is not written in the Lamb's book of life. Tonight, we call tonight Holy Ghost check 
is your name written? Holy Ghost check. Holy Ghost check. Holy Ghost check. Holy Ghost check. Shanda. Yam Messiah. Shanda Babasa. Shayabasa. He said, rather rejoice that your name is written in heaven. And I heard Paul said that from the foundation of the world, he chose some people. I wonder if there's anybody in here are sure that he chose you. Shaya Hayabasa Shaya Basa Hayabasaya Yamasaya Shanda Basa Yamasaya There is an election the election of grace Shaya Baba Basa, where are the warriors in here? It's not by works, lest any should boast. It is the gift of God. Shaya Amazing Grace. It is the gift of God. I say, Amazing Grace. How sweet the sound that save a wretch like me. Is there anybody can shout amazing grace? Anybody can say it's not by works that's, that any should boast. It is just the gift of God. Somebody open your mouth and shout it is God's gift. It is God's gift. Oh, Jesus, when Elijah pray and said, God, I want you to wipe them out because all of them bow down to Baal. I hear God answer and said unto him, I have reserved unto myself 7,000 men who have not bowed their knees to Baal. I stop by to speak to the church world. Not every Christian is bowing down. Not every Christian is living any and any hour. Not every Christian thief. Not every Christian lie. Not every Christian master be it. Not every Christian living a fornication. God have a number. I said God have a number. God have an election. Who am I talking to? Even so in this present time there is a remnant according to the election of grace. Remnant whole fast remnant I was talking tonight and somebody said they're always at church and then right in the midst of that Holy Ghost said not in church you can come to church but not in church you can come to church and heaven mark you absent you can come to church but heaven not see you at church because when you come to church you must come come worship you must come and live up Jesus you must come and mark your name present when you come to church forget about people forget about who now do this and who I do this and who who I live right and who I live wrong you know come that's not your responsibility them not serve you them name not written in a fear book so left them alone you come to serve God serve God and serve God good you ever notice in a church how church people can watch one another and who not do and who and do watch yourself left people alone make sure so your name is written oh shire elijah believe in holy elijah thought he was so righteous 
Let me read it for you because you're going to say, Bishop, say. God hath not cast away his people which he foreknew. Know you not what the scripture says of Elijah? How he maketh intercession to God against Israel? You better get rid of that self righteous spirit. Your, your, your feet say you're so holy so till you start praying about prayer. Your feet say you're so right so till you tell God to beat people. Like, are you named Jesus? Are you the God of the cross? Where is your worship? Sit down and behave yourself and go praise God. Oh, slap your neighbor, say, go worship God and leave people alone. They not serve your God, they must serve. Where is your warriors in here? If you know what is real salvation, you know, say, no man in himself can live holy. Oh, slap your neighbor, say, no man in himself can walk right. So when you see somebody now walk right, just pray for them because them can't do it. And God have to put grace on them for them to live right. Where is your worshipers in here? I only one reason make you no day in a club. Somebody say grace. Amen. Oh, tell anybody about one reason make you not have ten man. I just grace alone. You think I you? I one reason make you not lie and thief like puss. Amen. Somebody say grace. Amen. So when you know what is real salvation, you humble yourself and serve your God and be of yourself and say God. And when you see somebody not the right thing, you just go and intercede for them. Let me show you where the Bible says. Touch your neighbor. Say God say. God. You must make sure you have fear lamb. God make, God make sure say you have a lamb for Adam and one for Eve. A lamb for Adam couldn't share for Eve. Where is your worshippers in here? Everybody need their own salvation. And if you work your own salvation, nobody can work salvation for you. Where is your worshippers? Come on. Hold the neighbor hand and shake it and say, listen to the word of God and you will become a good Christian. Come on, somebody say, listen to the word of God and you will become a good Christian. Shia. That's the problem in church. You know, too much self-righteous people. Then those righteous, then righteous until they condemn all themselves. Because they condemn people and you can't condemn a child of God. There's therefore, therefore, therefore now none. Somebody said no, none. So once blood touched them, once the blood of Jesus touched them, you know the devil now nobody can condemn them. Because you we are going self-righteous and them make it in and you go to hell. Where is your worshippers in here? You don't believe me. Jesus talk, he talk about two sons. You know. Hear Jesus to them now. Three self-righteous spirit. I'm coming back here. Don't move. Tell anybody, don't move. Bishop is coming back here. Hear Jesus to them now. Two sons. And the father said to one, I want you to come and do some work for me today. And one said, yes, daddy, may I come. And then he not come no way. And he turned to the next one and said, and said the same thing. And the next one said, no, he not come. And then income. Which one of them do the right thing? <laughs> Can you hear me and say? You want something more? Eternal life. Jesus said, him, him, him appear every man for work for him. Yes, and him said, him go early in the morning and find some. And said, all right, may I give you one pen to work? And he said, yes, may I come? And then he re when he reached, that's a 9 o'clock in the morning, you know, then 12 o'clock, he go back and see one next man. And he said, may I, may I hire you for come work? Come work. And he, may I give you one pen? And he work. And then 3 o'clock in the evening, he see one next day. And he said, come here, may I pay you one pen to come work? And he work. And, and, and when 5 o'clock come, I'm pay time. He start ditch out money. The one will come nine o'clock, he give me one pence. The one will come twelve o'clock, he give me one pence. The one will come three o'clock, he give me one pence. Here one nine o'clock now. This is a wickedness. Yes, I work from morning. And this a man I come in the evening. And get the same money when we get. And you know what God said to him, say, he's a wicked servant. And me I boss. And me choose to pay who I want to pay. Who much I want to pay. What your business? I feel your money I spend, man. I said some church people stay there and watch others. And then watch until they them grieve God, till God no want them again. You better touch your neighbors. Some are come at 3 o'clock. You know? Where is your worship? I in here. I wonder if I should go in and that others run. Oh, tell your neighbors. Yeah, some people, yeah, some people will not tap, mess up. And they mess up and mess up and mess up and mess up and mess up. 
And some people we are gone and good, 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 good. And right in the evening, the one we are going one good from morning, stop one good. And start the evil and gone to hell. And the one we are doing wrong from morning, when evening coming, look into himself and do right and gone to heaven. Oh, come on, no man, where is the worship? Stop your neighbor, say, don't be a fool in church, be wise. Focus on yourself and tap watch people. Lord Jesus, where is the worship? Kind of flat, too tight. So you have church people, you have church people. When they see some people are go through them goings, they don't know the people them in Then stay from outside and watch the people them go through them goings and hear them all prophets lie. Tell lie about them get vision and dreams. Say this I got hot man that I got. Lie them are telling them. Then fill the heart. Oh, you just touch two people and tell them, leave me alone. I'm not baptizing your name. Oh, Jesus, it's flat, man, it's tight, man, the lamb. Behold the lamb, no, man. Behold the lamb, no. Behold the lamb. Tell the neighbor, leave me walk and God alone. I'm not baptizing your fear name. If I'm not baptizing your fear name, you can't talk. But since I'm not baptizing your name, leave me alone. I'm serve God. Where is the worshipers? God will fix me and make me who God want me. Me and God are work. And me and you. Where is the worshipers? Flat, too tight. Too tight, man. Let me go back now. Let me go back. Behold the lamb. Tell somebody, behold the lamb. Don't lose sight of the lamb. Come on, tell somebody, behold the lamb. Don't lose sight of the Keep the lamb in your house. Keep the lamb. Stay safe. Stay sanctified. If you watch people, you will lose your salvation. Come on. Come on. Come on. Worship us, man. Keep focus. Where is the worship us? Wave your hand and say something. So now, Israel gone astray. And Israel start bow down to Baal. And Jezebel take control of Ahab. And Jezebel start kill out the prophets. So the man of God them of you hide. Elijah run for him life. Where is the worshippers? And let me read it again. Verse 2. God had not cast away his people. Whom he foreknew. I people them we are bowed down to be all God attacking. Watch this. No, you're not what the scripture says. Elijah. How we make it intercession against Israel saying, Lord, they have killed thy prophets. Then do it with you, you know? And dig down thine altars. Then do that with you. And I I'm left alone and they seek my... Who, who is you? To talk like that. You know people are got you. You know the amount of people who are holding on to Jesus Christ. Huh? You, I make you look like... You know the amount of persons that... A fast and a prayer and a ball and you know. I worship God and I see God and you don't know. Where is the worship? I say something in here. This is the prophet Elijah. The who? The great prophet Elijah. And he start pray bad prayer. Slap your neighbor and pray bad prayer for people. Left God people alone and go repent and left God people alone. Touch two people and tell them, go pray if you can't pray good prayer. Sit down. You think your righteous than nobody else? You think you think your righteousness supersedes nobody else in our church? Where is the worshipers? Where the hand and say something, man. Come with me, no worshipers. You're coming with me. So he said, I'm me alone left. I talk him, I talk like I hear my God. You know? Oh, you know, say, I alone. You know, who are Israel. You know, I go on everybody's house. You did a man in time. Shire. But what said God unto him? I have reserved to myself 7,000 men 
who hath not bowed their knees to the in oh touch your neighbor say neighbor god of people yeah if you never know right in our church god of real people are serving come on somebody give god a praise where is the worshipers in here I carry the spirit of discerning, and anytime I see demons, I will run them hard. Yes. Where is the worshippers in here? Open your mouth and give God a praise. Yes. Wave your hand and say something in here. Yes. I reserve unto myself. Shia Basa. 7,000 men who have not Oh, dear. oh, touch your neighbor, say, neighbor, God of our people. And you don't know them. Some of them sit down in the pew. And you don't know them. Some sit down in the choir. You don't know them. You don't know God, people. Humble yourself. Make God happy in you. Where is the worshipers in here? Somebody wave your hand and give God one more shout. Listen to me now. God says, even so, at this present time also, there is a remnant according to the election of grace. Somebody wave your hand and give him one more praise. And tell the neighbor, God is the one who would make the choices. God do the choosing. And anyhow you see God choose somebody, left them alone. If you ever see God pull out somebody, left them alone. If God gives somebody the Holy Ghost, left them alone. If God gives somebody the heart to baptize, leave them alone. Because God is the one that elect he is the one that chooses and he does not choose the way men chooses so when God choose somebody all hands off just pray where is the worshippers come on throw your head back open your mouth and say is the election of grace there is a remnant tell your neighbor there is a remnant God no need a crowd if God just have a few where is the worshippers among the crowd there's a few tell two people among the crowd there is a few there is a remnant a remnant reserved to preserve the legacy of true christianity is kind of flat you better drag your neighbor said there's a remnant that know god for themselves there's a remnant that hold fast to the apostolic doctrine there's a remnant that know how to dress there's a remnant they will never be on the street with their armpit and I slap to remnant now. Remnant, come here, remnant. Can I talk to remnant? Come on, slap your neighbor. Say, there is a remnant. Can I walk on the choir? Choir. There is a remnant. When they're on the street, their armpit is not exposed. There is a remnant. Their cleavage will never be seen on the street there's a remnant their voice will not be heard in the street I said there's a remnant where are the remnant in here there's a remnant when I dance dance all music there's a remnant when I play Bujo Bantan there's a remnant when I dance to Bunty Killer who am I talking to remnant remnant where is the warriors in here? There's a remnant that know that a man should never pray with the head covering. It is wrong because you are the image of God. Your head must not be covered. But women, there's a remnant that know as long as there's a woman, you should never pray, prophesy. You should never worship publicly with your head uncovered. Remnant! Come on, Remnant. Where is the Remnant? Where is the Remnant? Somebody say, Remnant. The Remnant will not bow. Remnant, now put this in their ears. You're crazy. Remnant, no, this is the temple. And we now put nothing upon the temple. That will defile the temple. Remnant, now we are here. Three and neither. 
No, we are temple this. And we now put no jingle upon the temple. Come on, somebody slap a neighbor and say, Revenant. Revenant, now we are gold all over. Revenant, walk on gold, baby. Where is the water? It's kind of flat, too tight. Now Jesus then fight the bishop now. Oh, slap your neighbor, say, Bishop, don't mind him, he's a remnant. He just lick it till it pop up. Where is the worshippers? Can I find ten remnant in the house? Somebody say, remnant. There is a remnant that is reserved by God to preserve what is true Christianity when remnant step out somebody said there goes a remnant remnant not so tight till they can walk straight flatty man where is the worshippers it's kind of flat too tight somebody said remnant a remnant will not bow neither when you put the remnant in the taxi and the taxi boy or a taxi man or a taxi girl when the taxi girl or boy I play a boogoo bang bang remnant now she ain't no head, you're crazy. Remnant knows that that's a Babylonian song. I'm Christian, real remnant, and dance to Babylonian music. It's flatty, man, remnant. Come on, drag somebody and tell him there's a remnant. There is a remnant reserved to preserve. If you want to know what is real Christianity, find a remnant. They're chosen according to the election of grace. Some as a grace pull me in and a grace a keep me more grace. Who am I talking to? That's why we no show off. So remnant no show off on people. Come on, tell somebody, Remnant no show up on people, you're crazy. Remnant know where we gotta take them from. Remnant have a testimony from the Gotamos to the Otamos. Pull somebody and say, Remnant. Remnant no show off on nobody. You high heel boots and your broad hat. Remnant no show off, you're crazy. Remnant humble themselves. Can I find 10 Remnant? Can I find ten remnant who are chosen by the election of grace? Tell somebody, I know you hire me. So you can't fire me. Me now nah, don't please you. So you can't discourage me from doing anything. Lord Jesus, can you imagine, man? Can you imagine if Bishop did a watch people? And I watch the church and watch who not behave right now, who are do this and who are do that. No church wouldn't be a nigger. Where is the worshippers? But as a leader, me a patient. Come on, the man, slap your neighbor. Say we need patient as a Christian. Patient is virtue. If you're not patient, you're not real yet. No, oh, touch somebody. Tell me, you have your patient. You have to wait for God. Wait for the people of God. Where is the worshippers in here? There are some people that go through some something and they not behave right. Just wait for them because God got tip on them too. Where is the worshippers? Come on, the man. Where is the warriors in here? I say you have some people them mouth. And when you look cross, you say pure mud. If you ever look on them too hard, they make you know say them mouth no join church. But don't but just wait on them. Tell them about wait on them. Wait on them, man. Just wait on them. You will see what will happen. Because of your daddy, I got fix them business. And when God done with them, beat and bridle upon him out. Where is the worshippers in here? Open your mouth and say, wait, man, wait. wait. Look on yourself and you will know. Because look on where God will take you from. And if God wait upon you, wait upon somebody else, man. Where is the worshippers? It's kind of too tight in here. It's kind of too tight in here, man. So, hold on your neighbor and say, wait, man. Wait on me. God has fixed me. Wait, he's not true with me yet. Wait. Where is the worshippers? It's kind of a little bit tight. Drag somebody. I said, wait, no man. Why are you? Why are you so hasty? David, David said, I wait patiently on the Lord. I just while David I wait, so I'll hunt him. You know, where is the worshippers? It's kind of flat, you know, man. It's too tight, you know. Walk to Saul, man. You ever wonder why Saul? Saul so bad. Saul always a go after the people when I'm 19. 
Saul, David, Saul want to kill David, David after run. And then when that the Saul, the dead one, new Saul come. And a new Saul start to run down a church. And you knew Saul here said the church that Damascus. And the new Saul I go for the church. Where is the worship as in here? But no worry yourself while the new Saul. Where is the worship? Someone said, touch your neighbor. Say, wait, man, wait. God will fix who will fix and beat who will beat and knock who will knock. Oh, Jesus. Saul won't go for the church. You know? and, and somebody said, the anointing attracts. I said, the anointing attracts. Oh, Jesus. So, so them, I said, boy, the anointing attracts people for fight you. And the anointing attracts Saul. Oh, Jesus. Anywhere the anointing, the Saul find you and go a fight and try to pin it to the wall. Where is the worship? But slap your neighbor. I said, don't worry about that. The anointing that tracks, but the anointing break yoke too. Where is the worshippers? The anointing a yoke breaker. So no worry yourself. Saul a come, but when the anointing ready for that, kick that half a horse. Where is the worshippers? Not that I'm blind that. That man get no sight till that break. Where is the worshippers? Show your head back now, man. Open your mouth and say, don't worry about Saul. God will fix Saul. Just ask God to fix you. Because David need fixing. So God used Saul to fix David. Where is the worshippers? God used Saul to fix the church. Because the church must expand. The church must go to Judah. The church must go to Samaria. And the other must part of the earth. So God need a Saul. Where is the worshippers? Show your head back now, man. Open your mouth. So when you come to church and Saul, I fight you. Stop worrying about Saul. When you come to church, I want church member chat you. Yes, sir. Just say Saul. Where is the worshippers? This guy in a flat too tight. Oh, tell your neighbor, anytime church people rise up against you, just say Saul. Anointed enemies want to kill you, but the anointing won't let you die, baby. Somebody jump up on your feet. Show your head back. Open your mouth and say, I won't die. The anointing in me will keep me. Saul ain't going to kill me. Every time Saul threw that javelin, want to pin you to the wall is there anybody in here can feel like church people want to pin you up where is the worshippers in here where is the warriors that know that church people don't like you only certain church people love you oh Jesus but church people just fight you and church people just shut you and church people just have Push you down, but reach your neighbor. Say when they throw that traveling at you, no run left the church, baby. No run, no backslide, no give up. Every time they throw the traveling, just slip. Tell your neighbor when they throw the traveling, just go low. Kind of flat, too tight. Come on, no man, I know what you're saying now. Yes, me know say it's probably said duck. But touch your neighbor, say when they throw the javelin, go low. Where is the worshippers? Kind of flat man, too tight. Tell somebody, go low. Anytime they throw it at you, go low. When they lie on you, go low. When they fight you, go low. In other words, humble yourself. In other words, get down in some fasting. Duck in some prayer. Go low with some worship. For he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty. Go low! Not everybody in church like to see you in church. Not everybody in the pew like to see you in the choir. Not everybody in the choir like to see you at the seat that you sit. Where is the worshipers in here? You have persons getting dreams. And they're looking to see the dreams come to pass. Where is the worshipers? Sometimes they call you. I call them, I call you if they confirm if their dream come true. But reach your neighbor, say, neighbor, I got news for you. It won't come to pass. 
it won't work. Who am I preaching to? Tell somebody it won't work. Your filthy dreams won't come to pass. Somebody throw your head back, open your mouth and prophesy. It won't work. Somebody say something in here, man. I say it won't work. Clap your hands and praise him in here. Clap your hands and lift him up in here. Clap your hands and give him one more praise in here. Hands high. Shaya Basa. From before the foundation of the world, Jesus died for me. Hands in the air if you believe that tonight. If you believe he knew you before the foundation of the world, and from before the foundation of the world, he chose you. And that's why you are here tonight. Shayabasa. And if God take you this far, he's going to finish it. Can I find 10 people in here that can say, if God bring me to this level, he can finish it. Hands in the air. If you believe God can finish it. Ah, hands high. He's my alpha and he's my finisher. Come on, somebody, hands in the air. Shanda Bazaar, hands in the air. Shaya Bazaar, I feel God is encouraging somebody tonight. Somebody come to church tonight, so discouraged. Somebody walk in this building tonight, feel like giving up. Somebody come in here tonight and you feel like you're all alone. But God sent me to tell you, just behold, take one more look. Shaya Basa, take one more look tonight. Shaya Basaya, just look again, reconnect. Tonight is a night of reconnection. Come on, just connect yourself again see your name written Shia Shandabasa Nissan the season of beginnings the season of newness the season when God renew his covenant each morning the season when his forgiveness is renewed when he visit you every morning and he take away your sins from the east is to the west somebody Shanda that comes to God tonight uh, you're saying God I need one more touch God I need one more shift I need one more move I need one more renewed I need one more Hajai Shaya I'm going to touch him again tonight if I but touch the hem of his garment I'll be made whole come on somebody come on somebody come on somebody come on somebody if he should burst the clothes tonight I'm sure that I'm saved because I pray and I ask him to wash me. I pray that I reconnect and I ask him to sanctify me. I ask him to consecrate me. Come on in here. Come on in here. We connect. Come on in here. Touch him tonight. Come on in here. If my people which are called by my name if they ever go low see my face turn from their wicked ways and pray I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins come on come on Shanda Shia Yamasaya if any man confesses sin he is faithful and God is just to forgive come on warriors come on warriors come on 
come on remnant 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 know how to repent remnant walk in repentance remnant bow your knees to God remnant will never bow to Baal remnant erect the altar come on remnant always have an altar remnant go to your altar right now come on remnant the remnant of God they rebuild the altar of Jehovah remnant nobody got to tell remnant to fast nobody got to tell the remnant to pray nobody got to tell the remnant to repent remnant there is a remnant according to the election of grace Shayabasa even this present time there is a remnant according to the election of grace only the grace of God if it had not been for his grace Shaya Yamasaya there's a fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's vein sinners plunge beneath that fount and lose all their guilt and stain come on remnant we're dipping in the fountain tonight come on remnant come on remnant remnant you are saved remnant are sanctified remnant once plunge remnant one more deep remnant we're getting in the blood again remnant the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth come on remnant Shaya Shanda yeah Messiah yeah Papa Papa sir Shaya Shanda Basa he is faithful and just to forgive us of all our sins come on remnant come on remnant come on remnant come on remnant if any man say he have no sin he deceive himself and the truth is not in him but if we confess our sins he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us not some from all unrighteousness and if we say we have not sinned we make him a liar and his word is not in us come on little children little children come on little children be right unto us come on that we sin not but if any man sin we have an advocate with the father and that's jesus christ our righteous lamb somebody touch him right now touch him right now confess your sins shia yeah messiah yeah papa confess sins in our thoughts sins in our mind sins in our words sins in our actions he's faithful and just to cleanse us come on somebody as you confess and turn get up and walk away from it 
Oh, Sha. Oh, Shia. Just get up and walk away from it. Don't look back on it. Don't pray about that sin again. I said, don't talk about that sin again. Don't ask God to forgive you for that sin again. If you do that, it means you're not a true believer. If you go back to ask for forgiveness for the same sin, it seems you're belittling the power of forgiveness. Walk away, forsake it. Now go back there. Somebody clap your hands and praise the name of Jesus. Come on. Come on. Come on, warriors. Come on, worshipers. Come on, believers. Clap your hands and celebrate the King of Kings. There is a remnant. There is a remnant. Go shake somebody's hand and tell them there is a remnant. I want you to shake five hands and tell them there is a remnant according to the election of grace. Smile and tell them there is a remnant. I never said shake one or two. I said shake five hands. Shia. Shake five hands and say, there is a remnant. There is a remnant. 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 Come on, remnant. There's a remnant in the King Jesus Pentecostal Fellowship. Remnant. Shia. I feel like, I feel like speaking on a remnant again for the whole weekend. Somebody said, type in a remnant. Right, remnant. Put it up on your, your, your status. There's a remnant. Come on, somebody. Open your mouth. There's a remnant. Tell two people there's a remnant. There's a remnant. There's a remnant. There is a remnant. There's a remnant. There is 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 a remnant. Reserved by God. Clap your hands, warriors. For the rest of the weekend, when you greet, when you see a Holy Ghost filled fire baptized, greet them with remnant. Bless the Lord, remnant. God bless your remnant. Shia Basa. That's what King Jesus is going to do for the weekend. Just say, bless the Lord, remnant. Praise the Lord, remnant. God bless you, remnant. Somebody let it go, no man. Remnant. You, get, you, have, you have just two minutes. Jump on and send an instant message, remnant. Put it up on your status, remnant. 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 Come on, no man. Remnant, 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 remnant. Remnant name is written and not wiping out. Come on, Remnant. Come on, the man. Remnant. Someone say Remnant train. Re remnant name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Come on, Remnant. Clap your hands and tell the Lord thank you. Come on, tell the Lord thank you. Come on, tell the Lord thank you. Thank you, Lord. Tell the Lord thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Tell the Lord, thank you. Thank you. Negril. Negril. Hallelujah. Negril. Yes, sir. Thank you. Oh, Shia. Where is the worshipers in here? Hallelujah. Come on, oh man. Thank you for supporting the book launch. It was a success. Thank you. Come on, oh man. Shake somebody and say, thank you. We do the impossible through Jesus Christ who strengthen us. Thank you. Shia Basa. Where is the worshippers? Where is Evangelist Blackham? Run, come up here, come shake my hand. Run, come Evangelist Blackham. Shake my hand. Thank you. 
Young man, stand behind the bishop in a man. Where is the worshiper? Thank you. Brother Tevin. Thank you. Where is the warriors in here? Well, look who I'm going to beat. Run, come. Run, come. Where is the worshippers? Run, come, preacher. Thank you. Where is the warriors? Thank you. Where is the worshippers in here, man? Where cook them there? Where cook them there? Where cook them there? Where cook them there? Thank you. Where is the warriors? Kind of flat, man. Thank you. Where, where better change there? Run, come, the man. Thank you. Where is the warriors in here? Give God a hand cup of praise in here. Musicians, 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 technicians. Thank you. Where is the warriors? Thank you. My God. Choir. Choir. Hallelujah. Congregation. Congregation. Thank you. God is a good God. They say it would not work, but God said the devil is a liar. Come on, warriors. Give God one more praise. So we can push back some of the rent in Kingston now. Without worrying about nothing. Where is the worship? I say something, the man. Give God one more praise, the man. Give the Lord one more praise. Come on, somebody, give God a praise in here, man. Somebody give God a praise. A different something, I understand. God is good. Come on, somebody, wave your hand and say. Hallelujah. Just want to say thanks to those who stand up with the ministry. Hallelujah. We got to go high and wide. Hallelujah. And when we have faithful members, faithful people who stand from behind and work. You have some persons, if they are not seen, they will never work. But real workers work behind the scene. Come on, somebody, say something. I teach you something. I teach you something. We speak of Joseph because he's one of the greatest patriarchs. Huh? He is great. God showed him that vision. How he's going to save the people alive. He declared, you meant it for evil. But God meant it for good. But, you know, Joseph's job was what? You know what Joseph did? Joseph was a man that worked from behind the scene. Joseph never did work for his vision. It was Pharaoh's vision. Where is the warriors in here? Joseph was working Pharaoh's vision. When you can work somebody's vision without feeling as if you are stifling yourself. When you you got to know your calling. And you got to know your timing. Shaya Basa. Because they, 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 they saw all of a son named Jonathan. They want to push Jonathan to be the next king. When God did not have that in his plan, Jonathan said, Ah, you know what? I'm going to be satisfied to be what God called me to be. You are chosen to be the leader. I will stay behind you and I'll, I'll do what I can do to make the ministry. I'm not working for you. I'm working for God. I'm working for the kingdom. So I will stay behind. Jonathan said, I will show you, David, how to use knife and fork. I will teach you how to walk as a king. I'll teach you how to set your shoulder square and how to talk. I will show you how to operate, how to sit around a table. I'll show I'm satisfied to stay behind the scene and work. That's the problem. 
You have some persons that wants to be powerful, not because God chose them to be powerful, but they're operating from a Jezebel spirit. Listen to me, I'm bringing something that you might don't even understand till next year. You have some persons that wants to be powerful, wants to be leader, not because God chose them for that. They want to do that because there is a spirit of rejection that was in their life. And they believe because they was rejected, then they, then they can prove to people that they can be this. And so a spirit is operating in rebellion and rejection. So because you was rejected, you, you have. So you come to church and you don't really want to be powerful because God chose you to be powerful. You want to be powerful because you can. You want to show everybody say you're powerful and you can be powerful. We raise the worshipers in here, and so you will even fight. Where are you supposed to be sitting? You will hate people that you should be showing love because you feel like what they are doing, you should be doing it. Why do you think I lead the way I lead? You don't think like tonight I could give somebody the mic? Huh? But why do you think I didn't do that? Shayabasa. If you can't sit and learn well, you will never lead well. Where is the worshipers in here? It's kind of flat. So some leader set up Absalom. Some leaders build Absaloms to destroy them. Where is the worshipers in here? Somebody wave your hand and give God a praise tonight. Thank you. Come on, tell somebody thank you for supporting the book launch. Thank you for supporting the book launch. Shaya Basa. Preacher, I get one of these for Petersville. It's coming soon. Where is the worshiper? Somebody give God a praise, the man. Come here, pastor. One is, one, one is coming for... Fort Williams too. Where is the worshippers in here? Somebody clap your hands and praise God, no man. It's kind of flat, too tight. Open your mouth and shabba the king. Where is the worshippers? Wave your hand, no man, and say something. Wave your hand and give God one more praise in this house. Give the Lord one more praise. So let's let let let's move forward. Come on, somebody said let's expand and move. Let let's expand and move. Let's expand and move. Touch somebody. Tell them a remnant. God is raising up a remnant. Shia Basa. Come on, tell somebody. God is raising up a remnant. Remnant. That love God. Oh, Shia Basaya. Be out Sunday morning, please. Tell somebody, be out Sunday morning. Let us have our Holy Ghost blast in church Sunday morning. Where is the worshipers in here? Come on, no man, say something. The man is kind of flat. Having service Sunday morning. Having church here Sunday night too. Where is the worshipers? We're going to have a Holy Ghost blast Sunday night. Where is the warriors? Wave your hand and celebrate the Lord Jesus Christ. Kingston. Kingston. The revival continues. My God. You see what's happening over Kingston? My, my. I told El a hotel. Evangelist back a man some more. I tell him that by now in September we want to baptize. How much, me say? 800. Somebody said 800 souls should be baptized in our Kingston branch. You ready? Somebody help me. Somebody help me. Reaping the harvest that God promised me. Come on, somebody. Somebody reap. Reaping the harvest that God promised me. Now, the establishing of the King Jesus Pentecostal in Grand Cayman. Remember, we are going to Grand Cayman to open King Jesus Pentecostal Fellowship Grand Cayman in May. Somebody said next month, we are opening King Jesus Pentecostal Fellowship in Grand Cayman. Somebody wave your hands. So, I need some warriors to travel with us. 
If you're not a warrior, you're not coming in. We, want, we, need, we need sharp shooters. We need snipers and not snake. Somebody said we need snipers and not vipers. No viper now come with me. Uh, sharp shooters you want. Where is the worshipers? Why is the fuck? Kind of fact, but I choose. We don't want no viper. We don't chat people and fight the ministry. We need some sharp shooters to come. Let us advance the kingdom. Where is the worshipers in here? Tell your neighbor, this is the season of Nissan. Come on, tell somebody this is the season of spring. The season of Nissan. In this season, I make nobody care no bad news to you. Shut them down. Shoot. As soon as they start up. Shoot down. So, we're going over. I need some sharpshooters to come, please. Amen? If you're not a sharpshooter, you come. So if you know, say, yeah, come, if you're going to look permit, don't come now, what you do? Where is it? <laughs> we attack straight down play, you know? So now you're about to hit you. If I break through, you're going to look. Break through, figure, stay where you're there. This is not the trip for that. Where is the worshippers in here? So if you know, say, yeah, come, come, come. You know, some person go out here, man, they might come with you, but guess what? Why me I come in? I said, me can't get, no, 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 look a permit, I know, look a, I want one job up there, you know, so me I come, stay here. This trip is not yours, stay here. Where is the worship as in here? Eh? Eh, if I see her, I come for stay away there. I choose your dad. This is not, this trip is not for that. This trip is to go establish the name of Jesus Christ. Where is the worshippers in here? Say something. So, nobody now go except me say, I have to pray. And if the Lord say yes, then that person come. But now I'm bringing nobody because no problem. What I say? I'm not bringing nobody that is going to cause any problem. Only persons who have the kingdom in mind were taken on this trip. Amen. I know Kingston, where I go. You understand? Yeah, yeah first, when I go to Kingston and then run out. <laughs> you can't imagine people are running out of foreign. <laughs> no, I'm not foreign, you know, so people run out. And people are running out of town. <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> eh? <laughs> The people are running over Kingston. Let me say, be careful with me, I can't a key man, man. No, say, go. I shoot. Hear there, you see? True. True, what do you say? So, please, please, only those who are ready for warfare is coming. Amen? So, if you feel it in your spirit, that God wanted to be on that mission. Come to me. Amen? Let us fast and pray. We have to do it quick because, because of the timing. Yes, by Tuesday, we're going to send in the names and we go on for, for me. Ready, preacher? Ready? Shoot down. I wonder if we can go over here and go baptize one 200. Where is the worship? I said something, man. Up your mouth and said, 200 souls were claiming for the first move. Clap your hands and praise the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody, say something, man. Clap your hands and give God one more praise in here. Come on, clap your hands and lift Jesus higher. Everybody stand, please. Everybody stand. Evangelist Blackham, come and close in prayer. Everybody stand, please. Hallelujah. Everybody stand. God is a good God. God is a good God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. What a word. Hallelujah. What a word tonight. Hallelujah. The Lamb of God. Glory be to God. Those that are here and you haven't put on the name of Jesus Christ. Come to the altar. Those who are sick in the body. And you need special prayer. 
come to the altar. Hallelujah, for we are going to pray. Hallelujah. Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Come on, saints, give the Lord a wave offering as they come. Hallelujah. You need special prayer. You're sick in the body. Hallelujah. Come to the altar. If you haven't put on the name of Jesus Christ, come to the altar. Hallelujah. We are the singers. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Jesus. Glory. We pray and God deliver. Come on, saints. And God deliver Jesus glory hallelujah we are believing that God is about to work a miracle in your life tonight Jesus Jesus come on saints stretch your hands toward this altar hallelujah you need special prayer. Come now. Hallelujah. We pray. Jesus. And God stops. Glory. Hallelujah. We pray. Jesus. And God Hallelujah. Oh God Jesus. We know the power of prayer. When we pray. Hallelujah. Come with the spirit of expectation. Come to expect a move from God. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. If you haven't put on the name of Jesus Christ. God is saying, come now. Close is here. The baptizer is here. Hallelujah. Jesus. One person is ready to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory. Hallelujah. Jesus. Close is here and the baptizer is here. God is saying tonight, if you hear his voice, harden not your heart. We bind up the spirits that block you from accepting Christ in your life. Prayer is good, but it is better to be in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. When you put on the name of Jesus, you're giving God legal rights to work on your behalf. That's why we want you to be baptized in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Glory, hallelujah. Hallelujah. One person has gone to the water. God is saying there's one more. There's one more person that wants to be baptized. Hallelujah. There's one more person that is in the valley of decision. But we bind up that unclean spirit that is blocking your will. Hallelujah. The blood of Jesus. Give your life to God. Give your life to God for tomorrow. Promise to no man. Jesus. The love of God. Jesus. Come on, saints. Stretch your hands towards this altar as we are about to pray. Final calling. God is saying, answer the call tonight. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your precious blood. Jesus. Hallelujah. 
our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. God Almighty, we worship you, O Lord God. God Almighty, we honor you, O Lord Jesus, because you are all powerful. God Almighty, there is no one like you, Lord God. God Almighty, we thank you for your efficacious blood, Lord Jesus. God Almighty, we thank you, O Lord God, for come to this earth, mighty God, to shed your blood to redeem mankind. God Almighty, we can lean upon your blood, Lord God. One more person has gone to the water. We thank you, Lord Jesus. God Almighty, we thank you, mighty God, for your power, Lord God. God Almighty, we thank you for coming and shining your light, God, to push back the works of darkness, Lord Jesus. God Almighty, we thank you, O oh God, for working on our behalf, Lord Jesus. God Almighty, we pray unto you, Lord God, to continue to work on our behalf, Lord Jesus. For we can only lean upon you, Lord God. God Almighty, we thank you for your man's servant, Lord Jesus. God Almighty, we thank you, O oh God, for covering him, Lord Jesus. Continue to use him, Lord God. God Almighty, continue to hide him under your precious blood. God Almighty, where the devil cannot do him no harm, Lord God. We pray for his family, Lord Jesus. Cover them, Lord God. God Almighty, we pray for every minister, Lord Jesus. That they assigned to the King Jesus. Pentecostal fellowship, Lord God. Continue to use them, Lord Jesus. God Almighty, we pray, Lord God. For every sick in the building, mighty God. We pray, Lord God, that you give them, Lord God, a healing, Lord God. Give them a testimony, Lord God. Show yourself, mighty God to be strong mighty God and powerful Lord Jesus God Almighty we pray mighty God that you go to your home Lord God go to your people's home Lord Jesus fight their battles Lord Jesus ah, God Almighty we pray mighty God that you cover your people mighty God as they are about to go to their several places of abroad we pray mighty God that you go with them Lord God for those that are on the social media Lord Jesus touch them mighty God. We God Almighty, we pray a special prayer, Lord God, of deliverance, mighty God. We pray a special prayer, Lord God, of healing, mighty God, through your precious blood, through your precious blood, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, mighty God. We pray, mighty God, that you show up in your people life, Lord Jesus. Release blessing, mighty God. Release, mighty God, overflow, Lord Lord Jesus, release a 30 fall, release a 60 fall, release a 100 fall upon your people, mighty God. We pray, mighty God, that you continue to destroy the evil altars, mighty God. We pray, Lord God, that you destroy the works of darkness. God Almighty, Makoshatai, Nino Nobosatai, the blood of Jesus. We pray, mighty God, that you destroy, mighty God, the works of darkness mighty God that come against your people Lord Jesus we shoot the blood against every witchcraft and unclean spirit mighty God that sabotage your people Lord God that hinder your people Lord God we come against the spirit of delay we shoot the blood the blood of Jesus Makoto Shatai Rindo the Mushatai the blood of Jesus God Almighty we pray Lord God that you continue to cover your people hide them under your blood release your blessing upon them as they go mighty god we humble look to you and we tell you thanks in jesus name come on saints clap those hands and come in agreement right now come on saints of god call up those hands uh, open your mouth uh, and give a lot of praise glory be to god we thank you lord god jesus jesus we thank you. Go with the word. Remember, don't talk of this word. Hallelujah. And I remember that this weekend we are walking in remnant. Hallelujah. Go remnant in Jesus' name. And please be reminded that those that haven't received their books, we have copy of from the Gotamas to the Ottomas so you can come 
at the back and purchase your book. Hallelujah. And please be reminded that this Sunday, we have Sunday school. We have day service. So invite out someone for service. God bless you. See you on Sunday in Jesus' name. Hallelujah.